Thank you for buying the Cartsby Shamper. The Cartsby Shamper is a celebration of the best seafood on offer that week, that day. As you know at Carters, we work closely with day boat fishermen. We have given you a slice of that in our Carters hamper. You're gonna find the best British seafood from shellfish to whole fish to something that we've prepared in the box for you to eat on arrival. This is a real celebration of the best of British seafood. There's a cooked meal for two, a raw meal for two, and some bonus dishes in there as well. It's a celebration of all our best suppliers all the people we use on the tasting menus in the restaurant, put in a box and delivered direct to your door, 100% contactless. The boxes will always change based on the best availability of seafood that week. This week, we've got cider cured mackerel. That's cured in some English cider from Tillingham. And also, to accompany that, is some beautiful seaweed salad, flavoured with sesame, and some stout soda breads. These are just going to need reheating in the oven around 5 minutes to 180 degrees. You can eat this as a light supper, a lunch, or maybe even as a starter at the start of your free four course meal at home. Another element in the cooked part of your box is a beautiful Spanish inspired cuttlefish stew. Cuttlefish is the ultimate in sustainability. There is lots and lots of cuttlefish around the island and we use it a lot in the restaurant at Carter's. The stew that's in your box just needs a little reheating and it's been marinated in some lemons, parsley overnight, and then we braised it in some tomatoes and some smoked paprika and finished it with some roast potatoes. It's a real nod to Spain. On the top of the fish box is gonna be your raw ingredients. Some real, real fun things to cook at home. The top of the Carter's fish box contains some of the best seafood we can get our hands on. One of the dishes in the box is our signature Carter's oysters cooked in aged beef fat. These are one of our signature dishes and if you've eaten here, you know how delicious they are. The oysters are sourced from Port Philly in Rock in Cornwall. They're absolutely amazing, my favorite oyster, and they're sea grown. So they get the minerals from the sea and they live on seaweed. This is the perfect oyster to go with the aged beef fat. The recipe in the box is going to teach you how to open the oyster, to top it with the beef fat and then roast it in the oven for 6 minutes or 180 degrees. Alternatively, in the box, to go with the oysters is our seaweed hot sauce. This is made with our red peppers, scotch bonnets, really fiery and hot, finished with some seaweed called carrageen and it's forage from up in Scotland. This is an amazing alternative to the beef fat to go with the oysters, especially if you're pescatarian. You can pop the oyster, clean it, Add a little bit of salt and some of the hot sauce and enjoy it raw straight from the shell. In the Carter's Fish Box this week is a whole place. This has been caught on one of our day boats. We recommend adding some oil, salt to the whole fish and then popping it in the oven 180 degrees for about 8 minutes and then let the fish rest on the same tray for around about the same amount of time. This is going to enable the fillets to cook from the bone so the bone's a good conductor of heat. This is going to send the moisture through the fillets and give you a lovely, nice, juicy fillet of fish. The whole fish is edible. You can eat all the frills from around the outside and you can eat all the meat from inside the head. Having a whole fish is a real showstopper. Cooking it whole, putting it on the centre of the table and then enjoying it with the rest of the garnishes. Also in the fish hamper, to go with the whole place, is some of our Y Valley asparagus that we use in the restaurant. This is a really short season, around six weeks in the UK and it's one of my favourite vegetables. And alongside that, some garlic scapes that have come from our allotment down in Moseley in Moor Green. We recommend blanching them in water for one minute, draining the water, and then finishing them on a barbecue. Squeeze over some lemon juice and maybe some chopped anchovies for a delicious side to go with the place. Also in the Carter's fish box is amazing wild sea vegetables forage coastally down in Cornwall by our forager Chris at Bello Wild Food. He has innovated our menu for many years at the restaurant and give us ingredients that we never thought were possible. We have been able to put a bag of mixed sea vegetables in your box for you to enjoy at home. These are really, really gonna change your life. The vegetables in the bag are gonna change week by week based on seasonality. Some examples are sea beet, some sea purslane, some wild fennel. All of these vegetables grow coastal. 
They grow on shingles, half sand, half land near the sea and get all of their minerals from the seawater that feeds them and makes them grow. They're absolutely delicious, naturally salty and they go perfect with fish. We recommend blanching them in boiling water for one minute, draining it off, checking the seasoning because they're naturally salty, adding a little splash of vinegar and a little pinch of salt if needed. This is going to be the perfect accompaniment for your fish. Alternatively, I recommend using the sea vegetables in something really cool. Try making a ramen with noodles at home, maybe using a fish stock base of dashi, which you can buy from most oriental supermarkets, and then add the sea vegetables to the broth along with the noodles. This will give you a noodle soup with a twist. Another amazing ingredient in the Carter's Fish Box is our British speciality tomatoes grown over at Westlands. These tomatoes are all heritage varieties grown for us over in Eversham. We recommend slicing the tomatoes thin, season them with some sherry vinegar and some salt and leave them at two hours at room temp. The salt and the vinegar will soften the tomatoes and being at room temp they will taste delicious. My top tip is never put tomatoes in the fridge. It kills the flavour. All you can taste is the fridge cold flavour. You really want to taste the sweetness and the different levels of acidity in each different tomato that's in the funny. They will go amazing with the cuttlefish stew. Alternatively, they will make an amazing side dish to go with the whole place. Thanks again for buying our fish hamper. We want you to share your cooking stories with us on Instagram at, at Carter's Mosley. Good, bad, whatever. Even if you mess it up, it doesn't matter. Still send us a picture and we'd love to see it and reshare it.